previously on two. Let's begin our journey through the history of McLaren. From the start, it was a story of success. Hold our dash! And how exactly would you know? Because I was there. Now, the one thing you need to know about Emerson Fittipaldi... ...is that he was a driver of enormous talent. In Brazil, his nickname was The Mouse, due to his uncanny resemblance to, uh, well, a mouse. He was no mouse! <sighs> we used to call him something quite different. Oh, did you? Well done, you. Let me tell you, there was more to Emerson than met the eye. Hey, good to see you, man. <laughs> You're looking good. Don't get me wrong. Off the track, he was a gentle soul. You want me to sign those babies? Who <laughs> wouldn't hurt a fly? <clears throat> hey! Oh, oh, oh. Yes! <laughs> but when he got behind the wheel, that was quite a different story. Emerson was no mouse. To us, he was the wolf. Emerson Fittipaldi was a werewolf. Cool. All I'm saying is, he never raced on a full moon. Well, of course he didn't. Nobody did. The races were held in the daytime. When he heard the sound of that engine revving, it unleashed a wild beast within him. <coughs> Sorry, everyone. I couldn't resist. As soon as the flag went down, he became an animal. Ow, ow. It was one of the sport's deepest, darkest secrets. But the second the race was over, he was a mouse once more. The only clue to his true identity was his massive pair of hairy... Yes, all right, that's enough of that. Sideburns. What do you think I was going to say? This is preposterous. Emerson Fittipaldi is not a motor racing lycanthrope. Prove it! Well, as a matter of fact, he happens to be one of our guests tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Emerson Fittipaldi. Hi, folks. Now, Emerson, I'm... <laughs> I'd have to ask you this, but are you now, or have you ever been a, a werewolf? I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but I'm just a regular Formula One world champion. Thank you, Emerson Fittipaldi. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Told you.